хлебом текущим продуктом. Okay, I think we are live. Um, so somebody has mentioned that my day seven was way. So Andrew Khmylov mentioned that my day seven was way too slow, like four seconds instead of 30 milliseconds. Even though we do like brute force solution, it's not that big a solution like a thousand items, million iterations. Uh, and I kind of agree, I kind of agree. So now I suspect it was um, reflection issue, right? And we are going to find out actually why that was. So let's see, um, run part one. Make sure that it takes two seconds to execute. Run this, and yes, of course, there is reflection. 24, line 24, yeah. Okay, so um, I keep falling for this. For some reason, for new mass functions in um, closure.mass, closure.java.mass, do we use reflection? even though there is no reason for them to do that, right? Like why would they use reflection? But I keep falling for that. And this is very bad. And what we want to do instead is define um, Our own apps, and we even can annotate it as returning long, boom, and it is instant now. But part two is not instant, right? Why is part two not instant? Is part two longer? I don't remember. Hmm. We are calling a function called cost two. Yeah, this is interesting why it's okay, it's no longer no longer long, right? So if we do time it takes 40 30 40 milliseconds and this takes about the same about 30 40. okay uh, this is much better of course and I should remember from now on not to use uh, closure mass I bet there are issues about that. But let's see why there is a reflection. So let's open closure sources, right? Let's open core CLJ. Let's make sure we are on the master. Because it do change once in a while. Uh, we need actually mass. And let's say we want to take a look at this. Okay, so the problem with it is it is kind of inlined. Okay, let's check what it does in Java actually. Mm -hmm. So for Java, there is um, four different methods, right? <coughs> uh, 
sorry about that so what we see like um, yeah I suppose because it's overloaded it needs to know the type and if you just passed uh, like something that closure doesn't know a type of it is um, doesn't know what to do with it which is unfortunate let's we'll probably try to open issue but this is exactly the thing like there once existed uh, there was a company called prismatic they were building i think recommendation site or something like that um, and they were building it in closure backend was in closure and they did uh, a few good things uh, for closure and one of the things they needed to develop was a library to work with maths like they were doing a lot of math i think they were using machine learning or something like that um, and because of this exact issue that closure was not it's very easy really easy to write a code in closure that is um that does, that does reflection if you just forget about it for a second it does reflection and then you're fucked because it's super slow becomes super slow um because of that they have to develop their own library that was guaranteed not to do reflection and use that for mathematics and i think that's great uh, it's a great solution uh, you don't want to think about things like that and obviously here like you you can't do uh, yeah this is bad and i think in general like closure for example if you want to a method called count it's also in line right but it's uh, in line to to java rt there is rt.java and there is a count method which takes object right but it does no um, no reflection that's that's a good part right okay let's see what's in here oh yeah i misspelled pass if a line called types yeah basically And there is another one. Um, so hopefully they fixed it, right? Let's see if they. So it's been reported already, and uh, ooh, what is this? Why are there like two columns? the fuck <laughs> okay whatever uh login this is more focused spin off some of the line wrapper methods in the closure of mass and worked overloaded methods in java mass is this calls have been made directly in line and the argument types of the info are not available this becomes from time reflective call which may select the wrong method to overload if not for much and one is true example okay um but yeah we can be bought for this i think I, I should have an account here yes yes welcome back what the fuck no i don't want to do this crap i want to vote somehow for it vote options okay so let's vote for this and let's vote for other one right so there was this okay and we get in the <laughs> but um yes what for this one as well Oh, 
hopefully the fix is but for now we just remembered and not never use it but uh, yeah let me commit um, this solution uh, yeah this is well this uh, no 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 oh my god this is not ready to be committed this is the eight I, I just prepared for the eight but it's not fix it reflection in year 2021 they let's call to like that uh huh and let's reply on twitter and then we can start solving new problems Not Okay, now we can finally start day eight, right? Um, let me open day eight. Let me wait. We have everything working. It seems so. Um, pam, pam, pam. Let's start. Let's hope it's not long. You barely reach the safety saving segment search. Uh, safety of the cave and the blah, blah, blah. Uh, this is a Ford. Okay. Oh, this is electronic display. Like, uh, uh -huh. display is number. So to render one, only segment CF would be turned on. Uh, the rest would be off to render seven. Only segment A, C, and F would be turned on. The problem is that the signals which control the segments have been mixed up on each display. The submarine is still trying to display numbers by creating the output of signal wires A through G, but these wires are connected to segments randomly. Both the wire segment connection are mixed up separately for each four digit display. Uh, all of the digits within the display use the same connection though. So you might know that only signal wires B and G are turned on, but that doesn't mean segments B and G are turned on. The only digit used two segments is one, so it must mean segment C and F are meant to be on. With this, just that information, you still can't tell which wire BG goes to which segment. For that, you'll need to collect more information. For each display, you watch uh, the changing signals for a while, make a note of all 10 unique signal patterns you see, and then write down a single four digit output value, your puzzle input. Using the signal patterns, you should be able to work out which pattern is what which digit. For example, here is what you might see in a single entry in your notes. A, C, E, D, G, da, 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 da. Okay, the entry is wrapped here, that line so it fits in your notes, it will all be on a single line. Each entry uh, consists of 10 unique signal patterns, uh, delimiter, and oops. Okay, so these are 10 patterns that we know, right? Uh, then we have a delimiter like this. And finally, the four digit output value. Um, so this is a number that we need to figure out. So basically this is somewhere C, D, F, E, B. So this is this, right? This is empty and sorted, oh my God. Um, Okay, so we need to figure out which uh, segment is which letter and then figure out which number was dis is displayed in this. 
Okay, uh, using this formation, you should be able to work out which combination signals were for now or focus on easy digits. Consider this one, for example. Uh, because the digits one for each use a unique number of segments, you should be able to tell which combination of signals correspond to those digits. Counting only digits in the output values of part of the line. Uh, there are 26 instances of digits that use a unique number of segments. What? Okay. Uh, I think I understand the problem, but I don't understand what they want to do. What they want, what they are asking to, right? Um, because the digits one, four, seven, and eight each use a unique number of segments, you should be able to tell which combinations of signals corresponds to those digits counting on the digits in the output values so only those in the above example there are 26 instances of digits that use a unique number of sigma segments highlighted above so we need to figure out which number is displayed here basically and we need to Hmm. Okay, maybe we don't, right? So these are all 10 different digits, right? And we know that from here, the BE, for example, is one, right? Or here, CG is one, right? And we know that this is one. So we don't need to figure out all 10 digits. We only need to figure out which are one, four, seven, and eight. Okay. Uh, can we figure out all 10? I don't know, but one, four, seven, and eight. So eight basically is everything is lit up so we know that eight is when all all numbers are one is easy as well one is only two segments so only three segments seven is only three segments right and now to four so four is four segments and there are no other like this sounds super super stupid like basically uh filter this part for numbers that contain two, three, four, or eight, or seven, right? This is very stupid, okay, but um, let's say, uh -huh, uh -huh. In, your, in your input, uh, it wouldn't be wrapped and it is of course wrapped. Okay, so this is example, right? Let's say we have it here. So what we need here is split backslash n. So these are lines and for each, well, Okay, for each line in, let's use slightly more readable form, we do this call is called output, right? like this then we do digit sorry a string split digits we don't even need bars we just solve it right here white space right so and only when it has two three four 
one four seven eight two four three one two or seven one two three four or seven segments and you count this right mm. digits okay something didn't work um Yeah, I know why, because we need to trim not just that. We need to trim here. So now it's uh, some reason it doesn't work. So we take input, we split it by uh, slash n, right? So we get the line. Then we split line using um, this pattern. So we should get left part and right part. And this is our right part, right? Then we split right part by white space, right? And we trim output. So this is digit. Yeah, probably like this. Hmm. doesn't print anything what interesting so line is new maybe i oh yeah yeah <laughs> because because i'm not using input 26 okay is it uh, what you want from us yeah 26 okay so let's uh, save puzzle input but this is like something is wrong right two four five it's very easy you don't need to do anything so something is tricky maybe we do fi need to figure out okay so a little deduction you should now be able to determine the remaining digits consider again the first example above after some careful analysis the mapping between signal wires and segments only makes sense in the following configuration so the unique signal patterns would correspond to the following digits and blah 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 and then for digital output can be decoded five three therefore the output value for an entry is five three five three okay they probably they didn't know what how to make a two part uh, problem, so they made first part super simple, but second part not. Um, following the same process for each entry in the second larger example uh, above, the output value of each entry can be determined. Okay, so adding all the output values in the example, this each entry is determined all of the y segment connection and decode the four digits output values. What do you get if you add up all of the output values? Okay, so now it is interesting. Now it is interesting. Now we need to figure out which number is which. Okay, so this is cool. So this is what I expected to be. And yeah. Okay, let's see. So we know four of them, right? What we can do is we can probably 
uh, even figure out with this part because one and seven different only in this part so we can know which one is which which one is this one this is super easy okay then uh, and then we maybe do some more figuring okay but uh we need to parse it first um so we're doing the same ish right so let's do so what we want is uh digits first output second right And we do we split line. Uh, we do digits output, and what we return is so left is digits. So we take like split. We can actually do without trim we don't need trim right when we have regular expression so we split digits uh, on a white space and we map each of the digit using um, what we need is the join sort send. so basically we take uh, letters in here we sort them and we join them back to into string right and we do same for output this way we can build actually an vocabulary okay so example is b blah 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 so we don't sort them really but we can start deducing right um how do we do that So we probably write something like a function <laughs> called deduce, right? And uh, let's say yeah, we don't need that. We need that, and this is our input. So basically, we want to deduce given that we want to deduce numbers right which of this is which digits so internally we need to identify segments um how do we do that We copy this. So we probably write some function. Let me actually
Okay. Okay. So this way it's just easier to to look at. Start with dot. Maybe this is right. Uh, maybe, <laughs> maybe it's not easier to look at. I don't know. I'm not sure, but it's something. Let's see if replacing this with full block will solve. Uh, yeah, this probably better, right? This kind of looks like a display, even if we, I'm using extra padding uh, here, but if we remove it, it's, it even looks nice, right? I forgot one B here. Oh, my God. Okay. And we probably don't need those. This is pretty, pretty obvious which is which. Okay, this is our display. Uh, we need somehow to deduce which is which. So we need to run probably some algorithm that identifies a segment that is only present in some unique position. And say we name our segments like, okay, so first thing that I want to do is actually because we have, fuck. Okay, um, one sec. Because we have this, I can do this, right? We don't need two lines. Two lines is just too expensive to waste. Okay, so what we want to do is let's name, uh, let's actually do this. Okay, and we're going to replace so letters are like something unknown I'm gonna actually report. Yeah, should have started with zero. Okay, so this is how we are going to name them, for example, right? Letters are something we don't know the position of, but these are going to be our position. Like in, in result, we actually want to have a map that says something like BE is one, right? And uh, BDE is seven. This is what we want in the result, right?
Okay, so it takes a problem, let's say we even don't expect this to be sorted in any way. Um, we know what 8 is, right? 8 is always this. We can figure out 1... Uh, we can figure out 1, 4, 7, 8. Yeah, eight, yeah, yeah. I already know about 8. Okay, so we have... But for rest, we have to think. We can figure out what this is, right? Zero. So internally, we need to build a mapping from a letter to actual segment. Like, for example, it will say that zero, uh, sorry, for example, in this example, we have B and b d e right so it will say that d is zero uh, so this is this top segment here right now do we have any other unique segments we have we can we have not way to tell uh zero from six we have exactly the same number of things with or nine actually so zero six and nine are problematic right uh, eight we know like okay let's figure out eight we know but it doesn't give us uh, anything important so we have this say this uh, this and this, right? We also know how to figure this segment. Okay. So th this one have six segments, right? So this will be six. Uh, the other six is this is six and this is six. So we have three with six. This has five, this also has five, and this also has five. Okay, so we have, we now have two groups, three numbers each. Okay, probably better to write some generic algorithm that does that. Um, Я тоже по аналогии вычислил сегменты, потом коллега сказал, что не выпендривался и все за брутфолсом. Дорогой компьютер, бери все варианты, выбери тот, при котором на табло получается цифра, а не мусор. Окей, uh, uh, okay, so advice to use just, just brute force everything, which is a viable approach for sure, but this is not what we are going to take, probably. I don't want... I do want to be smart, actually, but I'm not sure if I can or not. <sighs> Brute force. Huh. <laughs> <laughs>
Ok, on reste Brute Force. <rire> Ok, this is 5, 6, 7, right? Ok, so this, uh, uh, these are all the combinations of what you want to build. We have a map of code all set up like this. B, B, C, C, D, D, A, B, C, D, E, E. Backslash is, uh, means uh, character. So we basically say take digits, a set of digits, right? And we hmm. what we Now, for each digit, And the result that we expect is um, <laughs> okay. Um, wait, 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 wait. Let's say we have no. This is what we are going to do, right? We take um, something like this. We map code to it. So instead of say B E, we get like six eight, right?
then we and we join. And what we expect to see is zero, one, two, four, five, six. Right? There's no seven. This is six. We expect to see two five. We expect to see zero, two, three, four, six. We expect to see zero, zero two, three, five, six. Uh, one, two, three, five. Zero, one, three, five, six. Zero, one, three, four, five, six. Zero, two, five. Zero, one, two, three, four, five, six. Zero, one, two, three, five, six. <laughs> okay, so now our four doesn't work. Okay. Yeah, because I messed this up. No, it doesn't work. <laughs> so we messed something up, but I know I don't know I'm not sure what. Right. This our code. We we can map, we can map, for example, b with a b zero e seven, right? Yes. So let's say we do this. We get zero seven. Yay! We got our code. Huh. And it even worked. So that was a good advice. Yeah, I like it. Mm. How long does it take? About 50 milliseconds. Okay. Not as bad. Not as bad. Okay, so now what we do is no. This is oh, we, we actually don't need this it in this way, right? Right. So what we need is So this is code, right? So what we do now is um, we go over digits.
let's call it decode and it's going to be a function that takes digit encode and basically what it does is it does this right So we convert this into normalized numbers like this and finally So we know this is zero, this is one, this is two this is 3, this is 4, this is 5, this is 6, this is 7, this is 8, and this is 9. All right. So as we suspected, B is one, A, B, C, D, F, G is eight. But we knew that, right? <laughs> um, yeah. Do we have every number zero, zero, one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine? Yeah, it seems like we do. Okay. And now what we need to do is we have uh, digits output. So we need to s sum, right? Yeah, we need to add up all the output values. So basically what we are going to do, reduce plus zero, and we start with this for loop. Okay, since we don't need um, numbers anymore i'm going to like, add some line space so it, it looks worse here but it looks much better here that's why by the way uh characters like um mm, block drawing characters they shouldn't be taken from font they should be ta drawn directly by your editor or your terminal like you shouldn't look this up in a font, right? You 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 know how they're supposed to look. They're supposed to take the feel 
the whole space horizontally and vertical. Like you see, like here, they're small, they're not pixel perfect because when like in font you scale them, they would not be pixel perfect because font doesn't uh, scale to not even number of uh, pixels horizontally and vertically. Not at all font size and most font sizes it doesn't fit. Uh, and that's the one problem. The second problem is you add line spacing between those, right? And font can't uh, control this. And as a result, you get this space between lines, which you don't really want. If you're doing uh, block drawing stuff, and there is no really like design decision in when you're designing fonts in making this or making this, you know, um, stuff like this, like, um, your editor would draw can draw it and it will be fine i'm sure so that's what editors should do they don't unfortunately but how to take every element of list after space in sublime and domain Like this. Yes, no. Uh, I'm using command D. I'm not sure this is uh, default key binding. I think it is. Yeah, find under expand. So basically what it does is you select some text, you hit command D and it selects next line that is exactly like that. If you want the space, you select space, you do this. It's not very fast, but it's pretty good. Um, so the outputs of this are those are Do I have dot files? Yeah, I have some, sure. Okay, so we do this, we map code and um, Let's stop um, with reduce for now. 
Didius. This is exceptions. It was not normalized for closure, unfortunately. It looks like because it's always a sequence going here somewhere. Mm, maybe because No, I don't know what it means. So we didn't even go to output yet, right? Like if we comment this out. This is wrong. Uh huh. I see why it is okay. There's a cl cl closed bracket in the wrong space. Okay, these are the numbers that we get. We run reduce plus on them six one two two nine yes okay uh let's actually check that we don't have any reflection it seems like we don't okay so it's just slow wait what So this takes, yeah, that was too fast, I think. Okay, nine, eight, three, nine, eight, three, zero, two, six, zero, two, six. And that's the right answer, yay, we solved it. Okay, still not clear what we're going to see in the picture. Like we're one third through, but still it's mysterious. Maybe as we move along, this will um, become clearer. I'm not sure, but maybe might like get more details or something. But it's probably water right underwater or something like that. Okay, we're not going to do any. Any other stuff today? Not yet. Um, but now, as a warm up on our long task, I think it's pretty, pretty good. I wonder what's going on. Like, where does time go? Can we make it faster? Probably can. Let's see. So, okay, so there is some lazy sequencing going on, right? 
iteration, iteration, iteration. Maybe this is because like of a for loop. Oh, or maybe because of this loop here. Mm. I wonder, by the way, if I change this to not. Okay, so if I do lazy sequence here. No, it doesn't change much. Um, but I don't like to see lazy sequences in my code, but yeah, probably. So this is deduce and basically it says uh, deduce takes crazy amount of time, all right? Say what? Always flashbacks on Pulp Fiction. I'm not sure I understand what you mean. There is sort, right? The sort takes a uh, significant amount of time. Why do we need sort? Why do we need sort? In decode, yes. Yes. actually made it a little bit faster making it sorting i wonder if java has sort on a string probably not right no and you don't really need to join to make it Nah, it's all right. Your sword didn't go away, but it's smaller now, which is good. There is some reduce happening in map V. Basically, this is the hardest part where we validate if we found something or not. Um, and the best it works. We don't do early breaks, unfortunately. I'm not even sure about the sets as well. If we need them or not. Like, what if we actually remove all these checks and only left the last one? Yeah, it's much longer, right? Well, it is much longer. Okay. Okay, yeah, yeah. Uh, that's good to know. That's good to know. Um, yeah, I was also was wondering, like, why maybe we can, like, we create a set here, which is probably not cool. And we can maybe, because these are numbers, right? We can use this maybe. So 
So C in your case is D. Like let's just experiment and see if it's any. faster. Not, or is it? I don't know. I, I, <laughs> I didn't notice. Uh, but let's try. Let's try. So D is E. Let's go all A, B, C, D. Oops. It's a slightly faster, but not terrifically faster, right? But it's probably a good thing not to create sets. Uh, we create a map though here. So if we can figure out a way to check really fast is our if our code produces something reasonable. Because we like using map and stuff like this by the way what if we no this is better really um numbers so numbers is cached which is kind of good right um Like we create, a, we have to create a map here, which could be not a map actually, just um, a vector maybe. So you see if code is code. So what if we create if we make this A B C D F E F G right? This is our code, and we re rewrite the code in a way that basically takes ends out of code minus percent a how does it work so character cannot be cast to a number okay so what if i say it's int now maybe i'm doing this in the wrong place Line 52, no, it's in the right place. Uh, so minus doesn't work, right? Maybe this would work. I feel it become a little bit faster. <sighs> we still built a, s a string out of it which has no we, we, which we have no real reason to right we can keep it a vector probably maybe not vector of numbers like this how much slower is this going to be i don't know uh, hopefully not that much uh, i kind of like having a string that 
but this should work as well, right? It's slightly faster still. Okay. We can also get away with sorting by using this, I think. And it's slower now. So sorting was faster. And vector is kind of good for us. Okay. Okay, so sorting is faster. Um, maybe if you use Java released, it would be even faster. Does it have a sort? It have a sort, right? Okay, so let's say um, but then would be be able to compare list with this. I don't know. Okay, I think uh, this is enough. Uh, this is good enough. Let's see. Let's commit. Let's actually see, you know what, let's see if, okay, we've got lots of secret flame graphs. Mm -hmm. No, I want to see Java, Java list actually. Sorry for that. Uh, even array, me no, 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 no. So list is Java util array list. Um, how much do we need? 10, right? This might break uh, because, uh, oh my God, I think. This might not even work. Sort for class Java util release. What do you mean? I just Google it. What the fuck? Oh, it takes comparator. Wait, what? Maybe it's a collection. Maybe there is sort here. There must be sort.
Oh, we can use null comparator. Okay, so this is good. I think. Okay. Okay, now uh, looks like we can't do that, but we can do Java util collection sort list, right? No, can't do that. No, something is wrong. Um, something, something, maybe. Okay, yeah, 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 yeah. Of course, because we're adding functions to this. Now something is wrong. Percent. Okay. And now we have nulls. Okay. So when I create array list of ten, what does actually happens? Right, so capacity is not the same as size. That's why I don't program in Java. Wait, what? So it kind of works and until it doesn't, right? So it kind of fails at some point. Okay, so this all works just fine. And then at some, how could it be nil nil?
Okay. So what we do is digit and code. What, what print least digit code. So code is new in our case somehow. In decode. Okay. So code cannot be nil. Well, code can be nil. Yeah, this was uh, I was talking about. So we found an answer, but it's um, hmm. it's not. We didn't really. This is probably because those are not. Like you cannot look up and probably because vector and Java list has different uh, have different um, hash codes. We can actually check. Okay, this is uh, yes. They are different. Okay, so what if what if I create a function called array list and like this and do seek success address x right, right so this is our la list method and java util array list okay so what we do here now is we say array list and for those we do this okay now we can get our answer. It is faster as I expected. So did it did it just stop profiling or what, what is going on? Okay, yes, yeah, so this is profiling. Um now sort we don't even see sort anymore, right? Oh no, we see sort, but it's here, array list, decode. Um, so this is decode, and we do next a lot, seek a lot, array list init a lot. Can it be the same array list, by the way? Like, do we care if. Do we even need to allocate new lists? Because we only use the value of decode once, right? So we can probably not even allocate it, but yeah, that's okay. So do seek uh, digit. So this is us iterating over um, a string. Which is probably okay. So first of all, let's say I just want to check that this still works. Yes, so you don't need to pass the same game. And this is built once, so we don't really care about it, right? Probably don't. Uh, or once per line, and there's just 200 lines. Yeah, I don't care about it. So what we can do here 
is um, do times e count digit, right? Then say ch is string. I think it has like char add or something like that. Yeah, char add. Char add. So we know this is a string, right? So we do char add digit i. Mm. And do arrays have hash code in? So we have long type. No, raise don't have hash code. Okay. So we, we stuck with list, uh, but array list should be all right. Um, add list and code. And this is what we need, right? So we replace do seek with do times, and we don't treat string as a sequence, which I suppose might be. Not good. Yeah, and look at the results. We are much faster now. Mm -hmm. uh, where is our decode? We use sort. There must be decode somewhere. Yeah, this is decode. So now we sort, which is kind of takes some, some time. There is nth, which will take some time inevitably, right? Um, actually, we can replace, because we know that code is a vector, we can actually replace ends with this let's see fifty seven right and if we don't do this if we use proper no yeah it, it's not it doesn't matter okay uh one crazy thing that I was doing was thinking of doing is how do you make a release with for example and all okay so yeah kind of do to release 10 Z let's call it the list, right? Do to add all, and so what we're going to do is repeat 10. Is it 10? It's always 10, right? Decode. No, wait, what, what is decode doing? Um, decode returns you, yeah, we, no, we can't do this. Yeah, this is too stupid. <laughs> I can't do this. Okay, so we do have to create a new list. It should be a size digit, not 10, right? So, yeah, and like the whole task takes under a second now, which is good. 
So that's what you do when you, the speed of closure is not good enough for you. You go Java. This four is probably not very good as well, but I'm not sure how to interpret this tower. All right, uh, it seems all right-ish. Like it's super nested and there's super long, a lot of function nested into each other but it doesn't seem to introduce much overhead so we're probably fine there is some lazy sequence in here but it's i think it's all right and finally like in decode we use sort which you probably can't go faster than that well maybe if you're using arrays but the problem with arrays is you can't compare them right So can you get extra underlying array which you can exploit? Or can you cr Okay, this way it allocates new array, right? Mm -hmm. so you can do sort on array but can you make a list fast from it i don't know whatever uh, i think it's good enough let's let's stop here right uh, it's probably good enough I want to think I want to see if our still runs. No. Why? What's wrong with this? Oh yeah, I think for fire. Okay, sorry. Yeah, this we need to comment this out. Yay! And actually, all the previous tasks are solving uh, pretty fast to solve, and this one is it's reasonable. Reasonable. Let's say it's reasonable. Okay, so this is going to be year twenty twenty one, day eight. Okay, that's it for today. I'm going to run my errands and thank you for watching. Uh, stay tuned. Join me tomorrow, probably. Bye-bye.